people, welcome to Shifting Gears. We are featuring the Mahindra E2 Plus in this video today with the brand called as a City Smart Car, available only in electric form. So the Mahindra E2 Plus is priced at Rs 7.57 lakh ex showroom Delhi. The top variant of the E2 Plus is priced over 11.2 lakh ex showroom Delhi. So on road pricing will be astronomical, and you could buy a much larger car in that much money. Mahindra did have the E2O on sale before, but this plus variant is now a four-door, four-seater car with ample room and not as cramped as before. It also looks far more proportionate than before, but is still a small car in every sense. Does it look good? Well, that's debatable and subjective to individual taste. The car comes with features such as projector headlamps, LED tail lamps, alloy wheels, black skirting on the bumpers and side, black and roof, grey applique on the tailgate where the badging sits proudly, and bold crease lines which try to appeal to the odds. Paint finish is good enough and overall the E2O Plus is nicely packaged compared to what it was before. The E2O Plus measures 3590mm in length, 1575mm in width, 1585mm in height and has a wheelbase of 2258mm and has a ground clearance of 170mm. To store your luggage, you also have 135 litres of boot space available. One odd design you will notice is that there is a fuel filler cap on both sides, but you have the electric charging point on either end, but supports two different types of cable on either side. Once you step inside the E2O Plus, you can notice the plus size considering there is enough room at the back but the overall width makes the car feel small. The black and beige shade of interiors with carbon fiber like panels used generously do try to give it a premium touch. You have an XL size round speedo console which is full digital and shows you data such as speed, temperature outside, DTE, charge status, efficiency bar, odometer and a few more drive details. The speedo console does look good and makes you feel like this is a smart car. You get a dual in blow pump touchscreen infotainment system which is just about average. For a car this price, we would expect a much better console here with a better screen. Sound output is acceptable, but really for this price, this doesn't really make the cut. Seats at the front and back are thin, so not very supportive throughout the drive. Also the seats are flat, so this isn't a place to be for a long time. Five occupants will be a tight squeeze in the E2O Plus, but for four, there is enough room thanks to the tall boy design. Great seats also get contrast stitching and there is a soft board even on the door pads. The paint shade though would be tough to maintain in the long run. Front power window switches are placed behind the automatic gear knob, while the rear windows can be operated only from either side at the back, so the driver cannot do it himself while on the go. There's enough space to place bottles, phones and other oddities. AC works just fine and is quite a chiller, but the blower speed is very noisy even at speed 1. Powering the Mahindra E2O Plus is a 210 amp hour lithium ion battery with 69 cells and onboard power of 16 kilowatt hour. This battery weighs 121 kg and the car overall has a gross weight of 1310 kg. The car comes matched only to an automatic gearbox. So now you have R, N, F and B modes to move the car. Here R stands for the obvious, reverse, N for neutral, F for forward and B for boost mode which gives you a stronger performance. Charging the E2O Plus takes quite some time on low output plug points which could range in around 5 to 6 hours. It can get a full charge in 90 minutes if you have the fast charging plug point. Once charged, the E2O Plus will give you a driving range of 140 km on top trim. But this is with driving on standard F mode and with the AC off. 
to drive with AC on and on full boost mode, expect the range to be below 100 km. Once you slot it in F, the zero noise motor does make its presence felt with a slight electric sound. With AC and music on, you would most definitely not notice it. The car comes with a creep function as well, so it will crawl in the city without throttle input when moving forward. Only when you want swift progress, there is a slight delay till the electric motor responds. Mahindra claims that there is a 69% increase in torque compared to the old E2O, but that isn't really showing very strongly in day-to-day -day life. For the city, we really like the E2O as it performed our daily tasks with ease. We drove it around to get the errands done and had no complaints at all. Except for keeping an eye on the driving range, there is no qualms with the E2O Plus. The small scale of the car makes it easy to drive and also the electric power sharing adds to the benefit. Also consider the very short turning radius and the E2O Plus really shines in its in-city drivability. On the highway with a top speed of 85 km per hour, you won't really feel slow on the go. On high speeds, the battery though gets drained sooner, so be careful with that right foot. Suspension setup is good for slow speed, but on rough broken patches, the bumps and thuds are felt inside the cabin and even heard. Braking performance comes from disc brakes at the front and drum brakes at the rear. There is no ABS on offer and overall brake bite and feedback is just average. NVS levels are poor and there are multiple hissing noises creeping inside the cabin. Asking for over 11 lakhs, there is not even a single airbag available. Tough to find buyers. The Mahindra E2O Plus is a smart car, but there are no smart cities with infrastructure to support this move. Even though the government provides subsidies of over a lakh, the E2O Plus is quite pricey considering its limited driving range. Also, this is no Tesla and quality of parts overall isn't all that premium. If you're looking to buy a second car for your family, with the halo of driving a zero emissions product, the E2O Plus can make sense. Obviously, if you have that much money to spend on a second car. Stay tuned to Shifting Gears and do remember to subscribe to our channel for more from the world of automobiles.